Hello, everyone. I've learned that it's not what I have in my life, but who I have in my life that counts. And that's my family. Our discussion will revolve about love for family. What is a family? Family is defined as the basic unit in the community. It contains both parents and their children, considered as a group, whether living together or not. Family is love. What are your ways to show love? When was the last time you hugged, kissed, enjoyed game together, and helped your parents or your siblings? Today, before they left to their job, did you say, I love you, mom, or I love you, dad? There are just few ways of sharing your love. There are many love languages. Others offer food, give presents, saying take care, and a lot more. What is unconditional love? The Bible says, Unconditional love gives without expecting anything back. The family love each other no matter what, both in good times and in hard times. Families face some difficult situations, such as not getting something you wanted, or when you didn't do well at school, or you did something wrong. Your parents may get angry of you because they are upset of what you did, but not because they don't love you. Our parents' love is unconditional. Whether we are happy or sad, our family is patient and forgiving even to accept us. This is called unconditional love because we love each other under all conditions. Always remember, the only people that will love you forever unconditionally is your family. There are no perfect parents and there are no perfect children, but there are plenty of perfect moments along the way. No family is perfect. We argue, we fight, we even stop talking to each other. But in the end, family is family. The love will always be there. There are some children who have never felt the total love of two parents. So if you have them both, be thankful. Think about this. As you grow older, you become more distant from your family. Perhaps you go away to a university or you get a job in your field in another province or country. There's no family around in the area to turn to, though your mom or your dad is just a phone call away. The only relationships you develop are with your friends at that point. You create your own inner circle, a group of individuals you can turn to at any point when you need it. Be known that Family isn't always blood. It's the people in your life who want you and theirs. 
the ones who accept you for who you are, the ones who would do anything to see you smile, and who love you no matter what. You begin to develop an unconditional love for these people as you feel as though you would do literally anything for them. Your lifelong friends are going to mean more to you than any other friendship you have gone through. And it's for a reason. Again, family is not always about blood. It's about who is willing to hold your hands when you need it the most. At school, for example, we all learn and work together like a big family. Whenever we have activity, the students from higher grades act as your big brothers and sisters. Each one may have different interests from each other. However, there is mutual respect for each other's differences. We value each other's uniqueness and individuality. So at school, we create family. We are one big happy family. Family isn't just an important thing. It's everything. Mother Teresa once said, What can you do to promote world peace? Go home and love your family. Have love in your heart and peace in your home. World peace starts at home. So, love your family and peace on earth begins with you. This is Teacher Rose of Woodrose International School. See you next time. Bye.